Chatbots seem a thing of the past, but what will come in their place? To find out more, we'll speak to Gigi Gat, a technology entrepreneur and lawyer. The Forex market is vibrant, but how can it embrace automation to help speed up its processes? Well, there are two questions here. The first is how to embrace automation, and the second relates to how to bring the benefits of automation into customer service. So let's unpack both notions. Let's start off with automation. Well, one of the best ways to embrace automation in a company is to actually identify those specific quick wins that one can achieve. Very often, AI projects are complex and long, and they take too long for an organization to realize financial or operational benefits. So it's critical to identify those use cases, those projects, which could allow some degree of quick wins. So one idea in this post-pandemic period is to identify projects which positively impact cash flow, which have cash-releasing benefits to the organization. A lot of the projects which we do, in fact, relate to customer service operations or repetitive workflows, which could be automated, where the very clearly defined smart objective relates to reducing the cost per interaction. The second part of your question actually relates to how to operationalize this in a customer service environment. Well, there are five ways in which AI can help improve customer service. Let's unpack those one at a time. Firstly, speed. Right? In an age where customers want to be served instantly, we need processes which actually allow for that type of speed and rapidity. AI can do that. Secondly, it's the concept of compliance. In a world which has a large degree of regulatory requirements, we need to make sure that our workflows are consistently aligned to the regulatory requirements to make sure that no steps are missed in the touch points with the customer. Thirdly, the idea of consistency. How many times have we heard stories whereby agents are fatigued and provide less than ideal service, right? AI is always consistent, it never has a bad day. It maintains the right level of empathy and service orientation. Fourth objective is this idea of multi-platform, right? We want to offer customer touch points in various digital platforms. Imagine a service orientation in which a customer can start interacting with the enterprise via email, but then switch to Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, and then perhaps move to a web inquiry. And we have a sing single understanding of who that customer is and a single approach to serving that customer. And lastly, but also quite importantly, is this idea of multiple languages. It's hard to scale up a Forex company which is trading in different countries with different language capabilities. But artificial intelligence has the capability of doing that. So our product here at Ebo can speak in more than 80 languages. Can you imagine the go-to-market speed which we could offer to organizations that need to be present in all of these countries at one go? I'm sure you'd agree that chatbots seem rather dumb today. How has AI evolved in recent years to bring more value to the customer and the enterprise? Talking chatbot versus virtual agent, does AI really make a difference? Research shows that 94% of customers are unhappy with the present communication and engagement model which is presented by ordinary chatbots. Today, customers want real conversations, conversations that are personalized, conversations that have empathy and true intelligence. So the major opportunity here is not to offer where artificial intelligence was five or six years ago, ordinary chatbots, but to offer deep, engaging, two-way, intelligent conversations between virtual agents and human customers. So we accurately can identify buying patterns more clearly in customer conversations. We can identify pain points that need to be addressed by the enterprise. We can deliver an enhanced service to make sure that across multiple touch points, there is a consistent customer service approach.
And finally, just to finish up, what is the difference for traders in particular that innovative technology can make? Well, there are three key advantages that technology offers traders. First and foremost is the idea of 24-7 speed, being able to immediately manage requests at any time of the day. The second advantage is multi-platforming, having different touch points to the trade, but always relating them back to one single customer identity. The third advantage is avoiding repetitive queries, which often takes so much time. But let's unpack that. What does that mean? Well, firstly, it means better customer identification, better listening abilities, right? A virtual agent can understand needs based on historical big data. Thirdly is the idea of unbiased decision making. In other words, taking factual, non-fatigued assessments about the situation, leading to the best trading outcome. And lastly is this concept of pattern recognition. If there's one thing artificial intelligence is good at, it's seeing patterns, seeing specific data points, which it could relate back to a story that makes sense. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure to speak with you and we look forward to speaking to you again very soon indeed. And thank you everyone for watching. That's it for this edition. But don't forget to head over to our Dugascobi TV social media pages to keep up to date with everything else affecting the FX markets as well as more videos and content like this. Until then, goodbye.